Okay, everyone, just want to go through something with you. Uh, right now, I've got uh, screen up and I'm um, doing this so that everybody has an idea. Uh, a few weeks ago, about a week and a half ago, I sent you a video that talked about, uh, and it was in an email, that there's a change to IntelliAgent where I can now share documents with you like we did in BackAgent. Well, that's what all this is, and that's the reason I'm sending this out to you is that it is, a, it is a fulfillment of my promise to be more specific about what is available. So first off, many of you are calling me or emailing or texting me things like, well, where do we make the checks out for rentals? Is there a W-9? What do we have for this? Is there a roster? What if I want to do a referral? Well, I, I have all that in here now in the resources section in IntelliAgent. So from now on, instead of just uh, decide that you're going to call me or text me and sometimes I get multiple questions from the same person please go here so in addition to that to check and see if anybody's actually watching these the first three people to contact me that they've actually watched this video will get a $20 gift certificate so on to the next thing so right here you can take a look there's, uh, there's uh, what happens with rental procedures, where the checks are supposed to go. And again, this is in the resources section of IntelliAgent. What you're supposed to do as far as who gets what checks and where. In addition to that, 2019 W-9. When we get the W-9 for 2020, it'll also be there. I promise you I will put that in. Okay? Get questions about broker referrals. There it is. Go ahead and use that. In addition, when it comes down to it, uh, one of the things that I get questions on is um, what are we, you know, if I have a rental, what is it, do you have a walkthrough sheet? Well, that's here. In addition, a lot of you, and, and I hope you saw this video, I told you that I'm getting commission checks sent to the office instead of to California. That makes me have to package them up if I, if I end up waiting a day or two or send them out directly to California. And that is, if I overnight them so that you guys can get paid, what it comes down to is that it actually, I, it costs me money to do this. So what I make, which is a pittance on your contracts, which is understandable because you're getting paid well and the company isn't, that I'm losing money, okay? So I'm trying to do this for you, but I'm not gonna do it after, you know, basically when I told you next Friday, which is the 9th. So in addition to that, the other things that are in here are for, especially for new agents, guidance on buyer's agency, listing paperwork, rental, tenant. There'll be more information coming on contracts and um, the video, on not video, but the paperwork and guidance on contracts and leases. Okay, so that's there. We always hear about um, what it's like to get, what's the elevator speech? Well, nobody's in elevators, okay? We don't, at least around us, if you're working in downtown Philly or Manhattan or DC probably, but not around here. So there's a grocery store gas station speech where you can talk to another agent about Fathom. It gives you some guidance and also giving guidance on how to talk to clients, okay? Um, for open houses, I have an open house sign-in sheet. Now there are different things that you can get online, they're great that you can download if you routinely do them, but I think this is a help. If you need help tracking your transactions, okay, I've got a contract on this date. When does the home inspection occur? When does radon? What about the HOA docs? When they were received? What about appraisal? That's all there so that you can help track that for yourself. Transaction notes. When we were actually using paper files, we would take notes, and some of you guys remember that, there, was, there were areas where you'd have a sheet of paper. Well, here, here's a transaction note. Again, it can be used and downloaded, and you can type in there. Uh, showing results. When I have a listing, I get you know, questions from clients. Well, what did people think? Well, right here is a way to go ahead and catalog that so that you know who you're talking to and how things are going. We get multiple offers. So here's a sheet for com comparing those. Estimated Sellers Net Nova, Estimated Sellers Net rest of the area. This is a, a, a spreadsheet. This is an Excel spreadsheet. And all you have to do is plug some numbers in and it will automatically tabulate it for it. Now, so if there's any question, if you're not sure, the Nova is Loudon, 
Prince William, Manassas, Manassas Park, and everything east. Fairfax, Falls Church City, Fairfax City, Alexandria, and Arlington, where there's a congestion relief fee. That's all accounted for in here. Sellers net is for the rest of the area. If you're talking about, you know, uh, Warrington, Falkier, Stafford, Fredericksburg, Spotsylvania, etc. In addition to that, there's client information sheet for a buyer to help you guide, guide your conversations and one for sellers. Again, people are asking me, well, I don't know how to contact this person. There's an agent roster. For buyer's costs, just like the estimated seller's net, there's one here for buyer's costs. It's going to vary a little bit based on the settlement company, but it's still there. In addition, there's a rental walkthrough sheet because I get questions on that. And finally, for not finally, but there's one other thing, and that is address for commission checks. I know you got the video where I, I hope you watched it. I'm going on vacation next Friday. That's the last, on Thursday is the last day I'm going to forward checks. If not, I'm going to send them back to the title companies. I'm getting checks sent to me and now I have to FedEx them and it costs me money. I'm operating at a loss. Okay. You've got to talk to them. So when you do a settlement, right here is the address for the commission checks. Bring that to post closing. As far as helping people with listings, there's a sample home guide that I've put together uh, with client with uh, all sorts of information. Uh, if you go back, we go back here. There's um, uh, sh uh, right here is um, seller's contact and contract information for the home guide, so that when you get an offer, the people have the the other agents have the right information, uh, pertinent information as far as personal property and utility, something there for you. So I've tried to do a number of different things. So hopefully this will benefit you. Please go ahead and use this. I would really love to see people use it on a routine basis. It's, it's important. Please go to these areas and find what you need to do. And then at that point, the information's there. It'll help. It'll get everything going for you. And we'll all have a better transaction, better way to do things. All right? Thanks, and I will talk to you later.